Hey guys, it's not about you. Got a minute? I've listened to some interesting songs at different points in my life, and one that sticks out to me is a song that a person wrote for their daughter. But if you look through the words, everything in the song was not about the daughter, it was about the author. In fact, almost every single line started with, I this, or I that. The subject of every sentence was the person, not the object of affection. Sometimes we can get like that in worship and in our life. We can make everything about us. I personally find it a little distracting whenever a worship song has a whole lot about I and not really a whole lot about him. It's not that we're trying to take away the power of maybe a testimony or how God makes us feel, but whenever we make everything through the lens of us, then we have brought just as much focus and pressure on us than we have God, if not more. Paul says this, though. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God. So if I've been crucified with Christ, that means that I am not very important anymore. I'm dead, but the life I live now, I live by faith in God. But the life I live now is Christ. So think about your prayer life. Is a lot of your prayer life spending time in the I, I, I. Whenever you talk to other people about God, whenever you're sharing your faith, is it a lot about I, I, I? Or is it God did this and God is so amazing because of this? I think this tiny perception change can help us understand and see God in a fresh, bright new way. And I think it brings him more glory too. Thanks for taking a minute.